Well, let me tell you something, brother. Snort, snort, snort. Tell you. Drip, snort, snort. I got the drip. Go. Jasper, what was that? What was that noise? <laughs> I heard a noise. What were you doing in there? Do I have to check? What happened? He made a noise in the other room. I'm going to check and see what he did. What did you do? What did you do in here? I cannot win. I cannot win. I can't. We now have broken blinds in every single room upstairs. This room, the room over there, and the bedroom. They're all broken. In the bedroom, the problem is that the thing that, that holds together that you pull to open and close the blinds has broken apart. And so all the strands go, go loose and I can rebuild it, but there's no way to really permanently have it hold together. Once it's, once it's split, it basically never properly goes back together again. So every once in a while, the whole thing just explodes and I have to try to rebuild it again. So they work, but they're just annoying to use. These don't work at all, okay? The piece that's inside is ripped out. So now when you pull the cord, there's nothing to rotate on. It just doesn't go up and down. So these blinds are permanently down no matter what. If I pull them up, they'll never come down again. Okay, so I just leave them down all the time. He kept going behind the blinds in that room to peek out and look at the neighborhood. And as doing that, apparently he got caught in them and pulled them and he snapped all the wire off of the top of the blind on the left-hand side. So now the left-hand side blinds don't connect to the top anymore and they're sagging. <laughs> So, we literally have no functional blinds. Well, the, the blinds in the bedroom are functional. In both of these offices, the blinds are not functional now. And before you guys say, well, why don't you just fix them? Because, because money, right? They're expensive. When I had these installed in 2014, which was almost a decade ago, they cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars per blind because they have to measure the size of your window, custom cut, custom install. It's very expensive. Okay, um, in my house right now, I have multiple broken things. I have a bathroom that doesn't work, a busted shower with all rust in the wall, dripping fucking uh, shower head, you know, all cracked, fucked up tiles and all kinds of shit. The whole thing has to, the whole shower needs to basically be torn out and redone. I have a toilet that doesn't work. I have a toilet that has not worked in like four years. It's all fucked up. All right, I have a dishwasher that broke downstairs last year, last fall. I haven't replaced it. Every time that I think I'm getting ahead and I'm in a situation where I think that I can, like, fix stuff, something happens. Like, this year, and we're talking a little bit about this on Thursday during the Thanksgiving special, how, you know, I had ups and downs this year. This year, I had a tire stolen off my car. I had multiple personal things, some medical and some other things happen behind the scenes. And it's like, every time I think that I'm getting ahead and I'm going to have some money to do something, it gets taken from me. So, I got all this stuff broken in the house. I can't fix any of it. You know, it just has to sit there broken. And I just, oh well, don't use it. Like, these blinds have been broken since earlier this year. Just leave them broken. What else am I going to do? I can't, you know, I, what's the point of dumping money into it, you know? Well, in fact, at this point, even if I had money, I don't even know what I would fix first. The broken toilet, the broken dishwasher, the blinds, the bed.
the bathroom is too expensive because I need to redo the bathroom essentially. Like it's all fucked up. They have to rip that shower out, fix all the piping in the wall, and do all that's like a ten thousand dollar project. I don't have that money, but even like those small things, even if I had the money, I don't even know what I would do next. I don't even know what to, you know. But this is stuff that happens when you're when you're got a house and you're you're an adult. All this shit happens, and what can you do, right? <laughs> Tis light. So now he's sitting on my floor moping because he broke the blinds. He's moping on the floor right now, Jasper. <laughs> it's like, well, I mean, you keep jumping behind him, which is fine. I don't mind. But you get snagging and you're pulling on him. What do you think is going to happen, right? Anyway. <clears throat> what can you do? It's not a big deal. That room especially. That, that room doesn't matter. We, all, we barely even use that room for anything. That's not a concern. I would love to have better blinds in here because for lighting, for the for the streams and everything, to basically have, um, you know, like, I was thinking blackout curtains would work maybe? I don't know. I don't know much about them. Uh, I don't even know if they would fit in this window because, again, this is a window that's a weird size. They would have to maybe, like, custom, you know, measure and cut and install. It probably cost a ton of money. But the blinds don't even work that well. Even when they were working fine, they don't block the sun that well during hot summer days and stuff. They don't do much at all. So maybe blackout curtains would be a big benefit. I don't know. All right? I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. How well do, do blackout curtains work? Do they work well? I'm just curious because I don't know much about them. So maybe I should get like blackout curtains uh, for for this office at the very least. It would benefit because then when we film, it's dark. And I could open them whenever I want. But maybe that may, may make sense. I don't know. Again, I don't know much about them. Like I think, aren't blackout curtains what they put in like hotels? The thick ass curtains that they go, you swing them open and close like this. And they kind of overlap a little bit to stop the light. Right? Are those blackout curtains? <clears throat> they're legit. Swagonitos says they're legit. What I'm really wondering of, how well do they work for heat? Because in the summer, it would really help if they could cool down the office when, you know, stop the sun from heating the office up. Um, And then also, what here's what I'm concerned about. Like right now, because I have blinds, I can open them to get air circulation. With blackout curtains, you'd have to open, but I can't open. If I open during the day... I, I'd have sun in my face, right? So with the blinds, I can maybe do like a little bit of a crack at least, and then I can get some air in here, and I'm nervous I wouldn't be able to do that if I got blackout curtains. They're good for heat? You think so? They're good for heat for sure? See, that's what I need. Because, man, I don't want to run the air conditioner in here unless I absolutely have to. And I try to hold out as long as I can. But man, once it starts getting sun, uh, spring and the sun is beating on this office in the in the afternoon, it gets so effing hot in this room. And I'm trying to have a bunch of uh, elect electronics run and everything. It's like impossible. It's like torture. I'm like fuck, man, I'm sweating my balls off in here. I got the drip going. 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 I got the drip. Going. It's like a faucet that's dripping. You can't make it stop. So what do you want me to do? Have a have a mute button that every second I'm tapping the mute button just in case I, so I'm gonna have to clear. Like this is what I mean. These, these dumb kids. This is what it is. It's dumb kids.